What is up everybody, I am Garrett Kemmer and I am an independent consultant for Sensi. And I don't know about you, but I love to save money. I absolutely hate seeing it go into the trash. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do some more DIY. We are going to take two old Warmer of the Month flyers and turn them into one of these lovely bags. You can either choose to close it off with some ribbon or you could just leave it open with some tissue paper. Uh, they're really simple. I will say you will have to just take your time on these because um, it's a little bit of a process at first, but once you do it a little bit more, you'll get the hang of it. Um, what you're going to need actually is some double sided tape, a hole puncher, some scissors, um, some tissue paper or ribbon of your choice, and of course the creme de la crop. You're going to need warmer of the month flyers. Let's get it started. Alright, so it's going to take two flyers to make a bag and you're, right now you're going to be needing your double sided tape. You're going to open up each of your flyers and then you're going to take the inner part of the flyer and you're going to take your double sided tape and you're going to run right along the edge right here. Um, my tape is about a quarter of an inch thick just for if you're wondering. So I'm taking that and I'm trying to run it as close to the edge as I can without um, getting on my table because tape on a table is not fun. Alright, so there's that. Now you're going to take your other flyer and you're going to lay it right over top where we just laid that um, double sided tape. Just take your time to find it and once you do, just apply some pressure to it. There we go, and now it should look something like this, like one full piece, okay? Now, when these fold, they're going to overlap. You want to take that bottom part and you're going to run your tape right down that edge now. Like I said, when you're using this tape, take your time. You want to try and stay as close to that edge as you can. And you're just going to let it fold over top and then you're going to apply some pressure. So now, when opening it up, it should look something like an awkward shaped eye on this, like a really flat eye. Now what you're going to do is you're going to choose a side. I'm going to choose the roadless travel side, and you see the white sides here? You want to fold it, you want about two inches on each side. So my rule of thumb is a full warmer and then a part of another. About probably right there, and you're going to crease it. These creases you want to make pretty strong. Um, the reason why is because the next step you're really going to need it. It's really going to help you out. So you can use your fingers or you can take the back side of your double sided tape and just really rub it along that side to make that crease nice and strong. Nice and strong. And there's that. So now you're going to open it up and you're going to take that crease now and you're actually going to fold it in on itself. There we go. So now, see how on the inside I'm pinching that crease? And that's exactly what you're going to do. You're pinching that crease and you're going to fold it in. You're just going to crease it in on itself. So now it looks like that. Okay, so it's not sticking out. It's now sticking in. And you're going to do the same thing. My famous saying, guys, when in doubt, crease it out. Same thing. I pinch on the inside where the crease is. I take my fingers and I run alongside and crease it. So now you're going to end up with this kind of really weird lightning bolt. We're going to fix that. So now the side with the road less traveled, you want to fold this so that all your edges will meet. Okay. So see how it went from this, just folding it in. And there we go. You can see it better. You want these edges to meet and then you're going to crease it out. These bags are easy, but I will say just take your time in doing it. Do not rush. Okay. So we have that. Bam. Road less traveled. Now we're going to take this bottom part where the Sensi um, logo is. You're going to take it and you're going to fold it up. You want to fold it up about two and a half inches or so. But I like to judge it on for like the road less traveled. I fold it up until about the light. Once it gets to the light, I stop. And you want to make sure that this is nice and sh as straight as you can get it, okay? Because this is what we're doing now, is we're forming the bottom of our bag. And then we're going to crease it. I'm going to crease it real good. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Bam. 
Now you're gonna unfold it. And like I said, now this part right here where we just creased is gonna be the bottom of our bag. You wanna really get that crease nice and strong. All right, now you're gonna open it up. This part is kind of like Christmas because you're gonna start your wrapping the package. You're gonna take, so you see where the crease is? You're gonna take this flap and you're gonna fold it in until you reach that crease. So, I'm folding it in until that crease. And then I'm pinching it. I'm gonna make another crease, okay? Crease it, crease it, crease it, crease it, crease it, crease it. Crease it. And we have that. So that crease is done. Now you're going to go to the opposite side. So now we're going to go to this side. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to fold it up until that we get to that crease. Fold it in, I'm sorry. God, Garrett, learn to speak. Okay. And same thing, you're going to crease it. So now you have, should have something like this. These edges, now you're just going to pinch. We're just going to pin, pinch, crease them. Pinch and crease, pinch and crease. Okay, so now we have that. So we're gonna fold these in. I'm gonna crease it one more time to get them nice and nice and straight edge on them. There we go. Now it's starting to look like the bottom of the bag. So now you can see that these two pieces are flat and these two pieces are the flaps. You want to see how now this is like a big part. You want to try and make this as one unison piece. So we're going to do, we're going to take our double sided tape and go right along on the inside where that crease happens. And you're going to give it just a little piece of tape. Not a whole lot, just a little. So then when you go to pinch it, now it's all one piece. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just a little bit of tape, just a little bit. I feel like that's a song, but I don't remember the rest. Bam. Okay. Once you press it down, you have one piece. And so now the last step, you're going to take these flaps and you're going to place tape right here on these edges here. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. All right. So tape it. Tape it. Tape it. And some more tape and what I like to do is I like to fold these edges in just like that and then I take the bag and I place it flat down and I put my hand on the inside and I like to just give it a nice press to make sure everything adheres and then ta-da now we have a bag you can make it with ribbon so it looks like this. So this part's really easy. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna pinch the top of the bag so it folds in on itself, okay? Kind of work with it just a little bit. And now this is where the hole punches are gonna come in. You're gonna hole punch it pretty close to each other. So let's say I'm gonna punch it here and I'm gonna go over about like a half an inch if that. Trying to stay symmetrical as possible. Give it a nice pinch. All right, let me get some ribbon real quick. Scissors, oh, that's green. There you guys have it. Now you know how to make one of these amazing uh, Warmer of the Month flyer bags. They're perfect for your small orders, like if somebody gets like two bars like this one. This one only has two bars in it. Or say if somebody orders just a couple car bars or a couple scent circles or a scent pack, you know, just the smaller things. Or um, what I like to do when I go to home parties, I love to play games. So I always put my prizes in one of these enclosed ones with the ribbon so people can't peek and it kind of raises that anticipation. So with all that guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.